I know you clicked on this video thinking it's totally clickbait, and you know what? It totally is. Not. <laughs> Not at all. Not We're at dead all. serious. Woo! Here is the proof. Right there, definitely a baby inside there. We wanted to wait until after my 12 week appointment, which I had on Monday, and here we are. We're actually doing the announcement video, which is absolutely <laughs> insane. Kind of a little bit nervous. I don't, I don't know, know why. why. I know, I don't know why it makes me feel nervous. <laughs> so many people are probably like, I've been watching guys forever, and you said you never wanted kids, but yeah. the truth. The truth. We have been <laughs> lying so hard to everybody, and the reason being is that when what finally happened, I wanted to shock the crap out of everyone, especially yes. our family, and get their reaction, which by the way, you'll see very soon. We yes. got all, a lot of reactions on camera. Is that a freaking, get By out of here. far my favorite part of the video, probably. Oh yeah, the reactions <laughs> are great, guys. Now we're gonna tell you guys a little bit of backstory about uh, this announcement. So. Two years ago, or a year and a half ago, I had the Nexponon implant in, um, and once I got that out, we were like, okay, not getting it again, let's just try. So, um, I have PCOS, I've had like fertility issues, and not until, I wanna say late last year, or early this year, I took a, because we hadn't gotten pregnant yet, in that year and a half, so I, I took a blood test to see if I was ovulating, and that blood test basically said no. I'm not. So the doctor, since I wasn't ovulating, prescribed me a medication to take when I was ready to actually start trying and get the ovulation process going. So we figured it all out in January and obviously like it wasn't the what we wanted to hear. So we we're kind of like in this crap mood for a kind while. Of devastating. Yeah, it really was for a while. Like I just felt like crappy all the time. And then we went on like these road trips and stuff and we we're just like, I almost feel like it was just like, I don't know, just trying to like shut my head down. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then this like thought came to my head. I don't know why I started reading about this one night. The medication for um, PCOS is, what's it called again? Metformin. Metformin, which you never took. Right. But when you Google it, it's a diabetes medication. And then I just started reading about the similarities between PCOS and diabetes. And I was just, it just I don't know why, I just thought to my head and I was like, I'm 100% thoroughly convinced that diabetes other than type one is completely curable just by changing your life habits. Mm -hmm. That's like, I 100% believe that. And I'm like, realistically, I feel like we never stuck to anything health-wise for more than like a week and then quit. And then a week like and quit, a week and quit, a week and quit, a week and quit. So I was like, we got back at the end of March, right? And I was like, almost like two days before April 1st. So like my head, I was just like, let's just do this for real for like three solid months before we worry about the medication. Cause I, I literally, sorry, I literally messaged my doctor cause I was supposed to ta start taking that like during my period. And I was like, look, I'm about to start taking it. And the day after I messaged my doctor, he was like, no, let's just wait. My original plan was just to get like, as healthy as possible. Like that was my thought process. I just wanted to get, you know, both of us in the best possible shape and like prove to myself mentally that I can do this for three straight months basically. That was our thought process. <laughs> that being, we lost a lot, like, a lot of weight quick too. Like, I mean, the weight was dropping. Pretty much uh, had a diet that consisted completely of just real fresh meat, real vegetables. That's it, nothing else. Like yeah. just. So a little bit of dairy, but mostly just meat and vegetables. Cut out like all sugar, all carbs, pretty much, almost all carbs, the most, besides yeah. vegetables and stuff. And just did that for a solid, I'd say month and a half. And you gotta tell the freaking like movie fairy tale <laughs> part. So this is like pretty unbelievable. And I feel like our life in general is like a fairy tale <laughs> really when we talk is. about it. But you can't like make this stuff up. Um, I was having symptoms, just, you know, cramping symptoms or whatever. So I was like, okay, my period's coming, whatever. Happens every month, used to it. Um, and then on Sunday, May 14th, right? <laughs> May 14th, that is Mother's Day, mind you. Um, I woke up like out of my sleep from a cramp and I was like, like my first thought was like, okay, maybe my period cramps are just getting worse as I'm getting older. Like I feel like that, that might be a normal thing. Um, so I went in the bathroom and I was sitting there and I was like, ow, like it was, it was just like still going on. And I was like, what is this? And like, <laughs> I just like kept Googling stuff and like random things would go back to pregnancy. So I was like, okay, I have like one more test in the, in the cabinet. Let me just test. <laughs> and here it is. Like <laughs> this is a positive pregnancy test. And the fact that we took it and it got positive on Mother's Day like, is absolutely insane, first yeah. of all. Um, and I, like, even now, like, thinking about it, I can't believe that that's how it happened. It just, it doesn't <laughs> seem realistic. Like, no. it seems like we're making this story up, but I swear to God, like, <laughs> that's how it happened. Unopened, never took it. 
So thinking back that morning, I seen like, you know, I, I had it up on the windowsill and I was waiting like, you know, two minutes or whatever it is to see the test and I look at it and I'm like, instantly breath taken away. Like I, I've had so many negative tests over that like year or two that I like, I literally could not believe what I was seeing. I could not believe there was two like distinct pink lines, not <laughs> yeah. faint distinct two pink lines on that pregnancy test and i like my breath was completely taken i like i remember just like crying but like i felt like i was like why am i crying like it should be really happy like i'm happy but i'm crying and i was like i don't even know how to process this like i, was I feel like asleep. I, I know he was asleep but i felt like before i got him i was like okay i need to calm down a little bit because i feel like i'm looking upset and i don't <laughs> want him to think that something's like terribly wrong so I was like, I don't know what to do, but I feel like I should wake him up. Yeah, and then I walked in there. I was—I just remember being like, what? I know, I wish I got all of this on camera, but yeah. like my mind was just like, oh my gosh, yeah. I can't believe this. So like I put it under like a washcloth and I just like called him in and I was like, lift that. And I just remember, I was like, how the f did that happen? <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly what I said. I said, how the F did that happen? Like right off the bat. But like my brain, like I have terrible anxiety. So I was like, I feel like it's a, a wrong. So like after, this is Mother's Day, right? So we don't want to tell nobody. We all went out to dinner. Then after we're like, we're just gonna go look for some Dragon Ball stuff. And really we went to like CVS and got like, what, five different ones, yeah. digital, I got, different uh, brands, different. Yeah, ones. like I, I got one that was like a, a rapid test, an early test and a digital one. Waited till the next morning though. I <laughs> yes, waited till, I the, did, next wait morning, till the next morning. And then used all three and they were all positive. So I was like, oh my. No, exactly. Yeah, I was like, and I was like, I don't know what to do. Like, I felt like, you know, in movies, I guess, is where I got this from. Like, I need to go to the doctor and get like yeah. a blood confirmation that I am, a urine confirmation that I am, aside from like what I did at home. Um, so that was like my next thought. I was like, okay, I gotta go to the doctor tomorrow. But I called the yeah. doctor and they just set me up for the eight week appointment. And that was like the first time that I went. Yeah, and that was just <sighs> crazy. <laughs> So the first time that we went, I got my first ultrasound done. You can hold that up. It looks like a little nugget that, on the ultrasound compared to, to me. One the month. one that you just seen. Well, here's an even closer one of that. Like, like this is eight weeks and that's a month later. 12 weeks like, right here. Like it's insane. It's, I mean, yeah. Like such a cool process though. Yeah, it really is. It's the coolest. I mean, I want to cuss, but I don't. <laughs> It's just the coolest thing ever. It really is the coolest thing ever. And again, I just want to like, I can't wait for you guys to see the reaction videos. I really can't. Full warning before I show the reaction videos. Our channel's usually clean and family friendly, right? We don't cuss on here, but those were live reactions. <laughs> they were a live reaction. So I'm going to try to family friendly it, friendly it the best I can in editing, but- We gotta like bleep a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of cussing and excitement and just like, that's the only way, the, it, I wanted the real thing. I wanna go look back at, on this in 10 years and just be, remember, I guess. Yeah. I didn't wanna fake it. I wanted to get real legitimate reactions and yeah. you'll see a lot of cussing and excitement. That's okay. <laughs> So another characteristic about us is that we're highly impatient, or at yes. least me, uh, well, me, <laughs> well, really much this, so. Yes, impatient. So we found out about this new scientific thing. It's kind of recent, apparently, to determine the gender of the baby, like eight weeks old, because they can do what they do now is they take a blood test from you and they can look in your blood. Obviously, she's pregnant. She's a female. So if there's a Y chromosome in there, you know it's a boy, and if it's not, it's a girl. So it makes it right. really easy nowadays, and we already might know we might know but, but you guys will tell know. you <laughs> what do you think stop right now stop put it in the comments guess? what is it boy or girl boy or girl are wait, we wait. Do this? when are we ready are we ready you ready all right three. Count down from three we'll pop it on go okay let's do it all right three, three two, two one, one. I would have been happy either uh, which way. Of course. But of course. it is exciting with this kind of technology <laughs> nowadays. Now look at our grass. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> look over there, it's still flying. It's still flying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Now that you guys know that it is a boy, 
Joey, we are going to reveal the name. So we wanted to pick a unique name based on what we like, and we were tired of the generic like David, James, John. Steven, I'm Steven and I, I don't like the name Steven. Yeah, we thought about a junior, honestly, but he's already a junior. We didn't want to have a third, because then it gets like, you know, royalty yeah, sounding. It sounds like, the, sounds like the British king or something, right? Yeah, so the name is, drum roll please. Da -da 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 -da. Go ahead. Broly. <laughs> and you're the one who picked it, not me. Broly, B-R-O-L-Y. I, I love the name. And if you know the backstory of the show, of course you know we went Dragon Ball, but yeah. the backstory of the show I think is just really cool because the Broly is like a legend. He's not supposed to ex exist. Like, like a long myth. Yeah, exactly. He was like a myth. And they thought that like, you know, he couldn't, it wasn't possible for to him to exist or for, it wasn't possible for him to be there. And it's just kind of like, when you said it, I, was, I started thinking of the backstory and I'm like, that's so perfect. So there's like a mean, <laughs> like not only is it Dragon Ball theme, which obviously we're obsessed with it. Um, you guys have seen our basement. If you haven't, we have another channel. Um, <laughs> but uh, not only is it relevant, the backstory kind of behind De Broly and his character is really cool. Yeah. So no. we thought it was like a really good fit. No, 100%. I love it. Now, I guess at this point, we gotta start showing people these crazy reaction we videos. Do. Oh my god, so I, I can't wait for you guys to see them. Rated R for language. <laughs> rated R for language. So we haven't told anybody yet. And I have came up with the perfect plan to expose the first person, Brandon, my brother. So he usually helps with all the thumbnails we do. So I'll text him, come help me with some clickbait basically. And we're gonna basically tell him that, you know, we found this picture, the ultrasound picture in a unit, and we're gonna title it, she's having a baby, to clickbait, you know, make it seem like the owner of the unit's the one having the baby. And then, all of a sudden I'm gonna say, you know what's even weirder? Look at the name on that paper, and it's gonna obviously have <laughs> her name on it, and that should be really fun. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> clickbait here, but, uh, <laughs> Found an ultrasound picture. And it's titled, She's Having a Baby. Oh man. <laughs> what the f? Wait, what's That's, going on here? What? Like, how is this not. Like, what is it? It's an ultrasound picture. I know it's an ultrasound <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's why I want to clip it. I'm entitled, She's Having a Baby. <laughs> but it's the owner's having a baby. Oh, you just found it in a unit? Yeah. Like, what the f? <laughs> I mean, the picture's pretty clean already, though. You think? Yeah, I mean, it was really just the coloring, I think. Are you trying to put it out now? Yeah, like six. Uh, God, I'm still not used to this. Where is, like... Yeah. Can we, like, move this? Sure, wherever you want to put it. Is that the new Photoshop? Yeah, it's the new one. Oh. I'm not used to it. Like, uh, we, we usually have it right here in CS6. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's really not too much to do. It's a clean nice picture. Yeah, it's our picture. Oh, you know... Outside, maybe. <laughs> you want to know it's, like, really, really weird? Hmm. Look at nope. the, look at the, <laughs> look at the name I don't think on you it. Can see it. No. Not on the picture. Do you have the thing at? Where'd it go? Yeah. Does it camber? Yeah. Look at that. Look. Wait. What? <laughs> That's ours. What? That's ours. <laughs> what? <the laughs> You're. <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> We swear. <laughs> You're the first person to know us. <laughs> Wait. I know you're recording the whole yeah. yeah. Dude. <laughs> I just got that today. Like we just went in for the eight week appointment today and no, got the one. Yeah, we know since Mother's Day. What I tested on Mother's Day. Holy positive po <laughs> positive Dude. positive Dude. pregnancy Dude. test on Mother's Day. Uh, <laughs> No. <laughs> I don't even have a AKA, you don't have to do a thumbnail. <laughs> oh, I really wanted you to help me with something else, but I just thought it'd be a funny way to say it. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Dude, you tell me. That was perfect. That was perfect. It worked so flawlessly. <laughs> now for the fun one, telling my mother. You guys that have watched it for a while, no, she's been, you know, wanting us to have kids forever. She always said she wants a grandkid, and we have always 
told her, no way, no chance, not happening, just lying through our teeth basically because I wanted this moment. You're gonna see it a few seconds right here. So basically we got this shirt in this onesie and we put it in an old Amazon box that she had delivered already. So we taped it up, hoping, you know, she would think that it was an Amazon package to her and not think twice about it, open it up and see it. And I'll just let what happened explain the rest. Hi, children. Okay. Oh, your nails. <laughs> your this was. I didn't know. Yeah. But this was on the fork. I didn't know. I said, "Man, it's gonna look like it's been re-taped." Really? <laughs> I didn't order anything. Hey. What? You didn't order anything? Okay, it's not now. I like the shirt. Are you gonna open this and see what it is? Yeah. Blow up or something. I don't want this. I didn't order anything, I swear. That Amazon package that has my name on it, but whatever the fuck you ordered, and you can. And then Amber has spirit open, I can't get that one out. Did Jerry put something in here? Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Home or something. <laughs> I got a job with David. Hey, let me call you right back. Give me one second, okay? Are you serious? <laughs> She said seven weeks. So when's the due date? Yes. I have no idea. January twenty second. <laughs> <laughs> you knew too. Today. Oh. He is the only one who knew that we were lying this whole time about not twenty kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I hope your mom and your daddy. <laughs> you better. Hey, not be. I don't see their name on here. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> okay. I'm seeing. <laughs> You want me to stop this camera? <laughs> so we're going to my granddad's and my aunt's house and little cousins there. So it's gonna be really fun here. I can't wait. We got him a shirt as well. This one you're seeing on screen that basically lists everything out. And I just want to see how quickly he realizes it. And this is gonna be a good one too. Just watch. I have a present for you, an early birthday present. Here. Open it and hopefully you can read it. <laughs> can you read it? I sure can. Read it out loud. Yeah, let's see. Dad? Can you read it? Grandpa? Read Grandpa? How the f*** that? Who? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> The next one you're gonna see is my parents. Now my parents already have two grandkids for my stepsister, but 
Again, like his mom, we've always told them no. They've always, you know, asked. We always told them no. So this is the candle that I got them because it's the only thing that I could find that made sense. Um, and then I also got this onesie for my grandmother and she is in the same room. So you'll see her right after my parents. So I need you guys to open this together. Austin? Oh, my God. 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 That's for Danny. <laughs> That's for Danny. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you read that, Danny? Oh my god. That's so crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so we gotta go tonight. <laughs> you gotta go watch it. Danny, can you read that? She can read it, but she don't understand it. Read it again. Only the best grandma. Get Get promoted, promoted to, to great grandma. So what does that mean? I say I say it's gonna be girl because I went to get all pink. Hey, I gotta stay here, I guess. No, only the best grandmas. Hey. You're my grandma. Hey. Right? Get promoted to hey. great grandmas. Look. Right. I'm pregnant, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> So I got you that onesie so you can keep it. So now you're going to be a great grandma in January. Oh my god. <laughs> I wanted it so badly for you. Well, now you can keep that down here. It's a forever. I was trying to read it. I can't see that up close with fucking glasses. So we're gonna go into the nursery now. We just got the room painted. We got the floors cleaned. And I just want to show you the colors because I think they look really nice. We have this baby blue over here, lime green, alternating walls. Then we got the bathroom green. We're gonna put like a little Broly shower curtain there. Then we got the closet blue and all of this stuff here. And poor guy, since I can't lift anything. This stuff's heavy. <laughs> okay, it's time to start now. You gotta sit up. I was about to do like a Michael Myers Undertaker sit up. I don't think I have the ability to right now. I believe in you. I don't. You need help? No, don't. You're not pulling me. <laughs> <laughs> See, look. You did it. Good job. Barely. Alright, do we know what we need for this? Not a clue. Not a clue. Perfect. <laughs> start over there. All I know right now is we gotta open the box. That's a good start. That was totally as fast as you just watched it and that was not sped up in any way, we just worked that fast. <laughs> yes. Now, the moment of truth, does it actually fit what the image in our head is? You know, because who would have measured beforehand? It. <laughs> who would have measured beforehand? Only a loser. Right? Right. Ah. Bang, it's got fun. Hey, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty of room. That actually nice. fits in there perfect. Perfect. And we got this nice cozy mattress, but you know, we're not gonna take this out of the plastic yet. But again, probably gonna go to make sure it fits, right? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Perfect shit. Perfection. Now, I don't know if the blue or the white side's the top, but. Yeah. I guess the blue side, because that's what it says. Probably. <laughs> so after putting together the crib, before we put together anything else, because we're on a little bit of a break, we have a hamper full of baby clothes already. <laughs> And one other thing, one like blanket thing. So let's pull it out so we can show you guys what we got. Here, you can hold that one. Whose I'll idea were these? Huh? Our idea. Ours. <laughs> I like the booties. They're they're little socks. It says four pack of booties, but they're like little socks. And they're all Nike. By the way, we got this from Burlington. They yeah. have good prices at Burlington for like Nike and Jordan things. So yeah, these are normally 30 bucks and they were 12 bucks, so hey. Awesome. And then, here you go. I love we this color combo. Some of these three piece sets um, Jordan and Nike ones. And this says newborn zero to six months for this one. So this is a Jordan uh, with a bandana and socks. And it's onesie. pretty slick, actually. It is. I wonder whose idea it was to get the Jordan stuff. Huh? Ours. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then here's a black and white Nike. And some of them come with a hat and some come with a bandana. But they're all like newborn zero to six months. So yeah. It'll last a while. Right? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Genetically, maybe. man's going to be a beast, most likely. I mean, obviously, it's possible to be small, too. But yeah. like. Well, because we have small people, I think, on both sides of our family. But at the same time, like, both of us are large frame. Like, I'm large frame for a woman, and he's definitely large frame. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm we'll six. We'll see. It's exciting. Six five. I have an uncle six three. I have biological people. I never met in my family that were six eight, six nine. So. But on the other side, he has biological people that were like four ten. It's not so. four ten. <laughs> my grandmother. Your grandma, grandma was like four eleven. She was. <laughs> and your granddad's like five two. Now, <laughs> he's shrunk. <laughs> I'm just saying, I you know. have tall and short side, or short people on your side. Yeah. Okay. So, let's show this next. That is the coolest thing. So, this, if you guys don't know Dragon Ball, like, um, obviously we named him Broly. So, uh, that is a Dragon Ball character. And in Broly's movie, he has this friend that he meets on the planet, and his name is Ba. Because <laughs> that's the sound that the monster makes. So, we found this. It's, it's like so a hooded cool. blanket, and this is what Ba looks like. Like, that's his face. But it, it like buttons here in the front and it's like lime green. Look, it goes with the lime green wall. Exactly. That's exactly why we got lime green walls. Um, blue just because boy. Yeah. I guess. They just seem to go together. Well, Broly's colors are green and purple and I just didn't want purple in right. here, you know? I just, no. and, and green and purple were my high school colors and I didn't want that. <laughs> so yeah, so we got this hooded blanket that is Ba. So he'll start using that obviously. Probably is a little bit older. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just pull out some of these. You can hold that one. Check out the Nike. So Just these are it. Nike body suits, and we got a bunch of different um, designs here. Ooh. And these are three packs. So we have like a Just Do It like design right there, and then like a cartoon sport one and then just the nike one i think most of these are uh, newborn but if some things we liked and they were you know yeah. three months six months like this one they don't get there anyway i guess it's like a sleeper that's a newborn and that was nike look at the little jordan set <laughs> <laughs> and you could show these oh you well, guys you know i had to get the way to get this <laughs> look at that the, if you don't know what this one is this is what Gohan wore in Dragon Ball Z as a baby, right there. So this one we had to get that. It's just orange and white. Uh, it says Flying Nimbus or Fly Nimbus on yeah. the front, and then Goku with King Kai symbol on the back. And we actually got just because I had them in my hand for some reason, I just put them on the counter. Didn't realize I got. I two remember what there. happened. We found this, and then we walked over to the discount rack, and they had one. She was already holding one. I was like, "Look, they have them the discount rack," and she's like, "Okay, let's get it." <laughs> And then we got out and yeah. realized we still had the other one on the original price too, so we bought both. The good thing about it is, is they're not the same size. This is three months and this is six months. So when he grows out of this one, he can have another one. Right. <laughs> I remember when we got to the car and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Why do we have two? Why of do we have two of these? <laughs> Look at that. Little Nike jumper. Yep. Man's gonna be dressed better than me. Here's another <laughs> one, another Nike jumper, sleeper, whatever you wanna call it. Oh. Look at these. How are the other ones? Just do it. Just do it. Nike again. And then we have this, which is a onesie and shorts combo. That is Nike Air. <laughs> and I like this one. Yeah, that was probably like my favorite color. This one, one we got at, um, I think it's the Dick Sporting Goods, like overstock place. It's called yeah. Going, Going, Gone. I don't even know if it's like in multiple places, but we have one right by our house. It's the first time I've ever seen one is here, yeah. so. So we got this blue one from there. And then we got this black and gray sleeper. This looks like straight like pajamas. Yeah. It like does. it has like little footies on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Here's another like Nike bodysuit one. Just, you know, gray, red, blue. And then we have another gray jumper that's Nike. And I think we're prepared. Here. Yeah, we're, well, we're starting. <laughs> that's exciting. Another. Go on, baby suit. Again, I think this one's much bigger, right? This is six months. I think so. You know, this is actually nine months. But again, they didn't have the sizes and I wasn't leaving them there. I've been waiting for a lot of years to finally buy these and I wasn't about to miss Yeah. And there they are again. I'll let you Another open little these, Gohan. And I'll open the other you one. You know we had to sport it out in the Dragon Ball. Look at Vegeta's armor. That is so sick. <laughs> it's so good. Vegeta armor. The Goku Gi even has the sewn on belt. Come on. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> if I could fit all this stuff, I'd be wearing nothing in videos right now. I bet you would. I would. No shade. 
<laughs> so these next few things, where did I get these? On a website called Cute The. I had no idea if it was like a reputable website and I just like tried it because I could pay through PayPal and it was safe and it came. So <laughs> this is like a little sleeper, but it has bear ears on it. <laughs> Look at it, the bear ears. <laughs> and then you could like fold over the foot and it's a bear paw. <laughs> I love that one. Um, and then how many, this is not even remotely close to all by the way. You know how many more we have coming in? Yeah, I have like two more orders coming in. And then my mom's already done ordered, you know, all of the a whole department store. Of course. The store, yeah. <laughs> like some UFC ones and everything. Yeah. Like, she got UFC ones off of Etsy. Etsy's a good website. Etsy's great. Yeah, so here's um a two piece that's like gray and then it has like bears in the hood and then it comes with some little pants. That's little cool. Pants. Uh, do we have to show the goat one? Just a plain black one, right? Yes. Yeah. Sonic, this man's <laughs> representing. <laughs> Look at the treasure hunting with Jeebus onesie. Oh, I've been waiting to buy this for so long. <laughs> team number, or uh, number three now. Player team three. Team player three. Has spawned. <laughs> well, this is a good lead up to the next and last pair of clothes that I see. Yeah. So it has these Pac-Man pants and then a hat, <laughs> and then here is the actual onesie. Player three has entered the game. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all the clothes that we have. Um, we, we also got a, a few bunch books. of books. You know, not a bunch yet, but we're definitely gonna get books. My mom read to me when I was like two, and I was able to read, I was like literally reading chapter books before I went into kindergarten, so. So we like went into Target the other day and we saw like a few books that we remember from our childhood and we were like, well, let's just get those. Cause it's like good memories for us and might as well just start the bookshelf. And some of the stuff that comes out nowadays, I'm just like, <laughs> we're not gonna go there. But who remembers The Very Hungry Caterpillar? Me. That was a goat. This one was my, did you read this one as a kid or is this a me? I, well, I wasn't like obsessed oh with it, but I, I do remember it. I remember this book so specifically when I was in like kindergarten, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. It's such a good book. This one was the one you found, right? Yeah, this is um, The Rainbow Fish. <laughs> I love this book. I just read it the other day. And this one, <laughs> none of us really read, but we just figured what the heck. It's a hundred first words, you know. It's yeah. definitely important to focus on this stuff. Definitely. First a hundred words, numbers, colors, and shapes, and then first a hundred animals. And oh, the bookshelf has begun. So I bought a lot more things since we last put together like the crib and the bookshelf. So I want to show you a few of the pieces of clothes that we got just because they're like some of my favorite. Yeah, so we got a Bugs like blue sleeper. <laughs> we got the Tom one, which comes with, if I can find it, a hat with ears. Like, come on now, how could I not get that? That's just golden. <laughs> Uh, and then Mama Jeebus got us some of these UFC ones. So we'll definitely have him wearing that on a Saturday when we're watching UFC. Oh yeah. Um, and then we got, what else do we have? We have like a diaper pail. We have this, which is a dresser and then the uh, changing table on top. And then here we have some like newborn toys, some more books to put over there. And then we got this like, I guess you can say it's a, it's a letter board, but like an announcement one. You can put his name and uh, weight and stuff on there. And then we got a nightstand to put next to a chair. And then we got one of these things, just because we liked it, and why not? Uh, what else did we get? Um, we got more hangers. Oh, and then we got this. Perfect colors, it matches the wall, right? Yeah, perfect colors. And we actually do have like a shower curtain coming in also. So that'll finish off the bathroom. And I cannot wait to see this whole thing put together. Man, a lot of you guys guessed right on that community post, didn't you? <laughs> I, did, I didn't deny it this time. I wonder if anyone's <laughs> seen that. But guys, if you're wondering where we've been for two and a half weeks, now you know the answer to that. All the parents and grandmothers out there, give us some words of wisdom in the comments before. <laughs> We're new to this, and I'd like to hear from people that have experienced it. I love you all. Until next time, peace out.